going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to go over the expected content schedule for this week in Mutt 22. Everything that you can expect to happen, new programs, all of that information. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, do me a favor, help me out. Make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. It shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here because you were searching around YouTube for Mutt 22 content or maybe the video is recommended to you stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it and boom here it is this is the content schedule for the week and unfortunately zero surprises pretty standard on what to expect for this week so let's go through it it's may 23rd which is today to may 29th now of course today and tomorrow no content expected that's how it's been for a month plus rising stars are coming on wednesday and not only that but this is going to mark the end of the wild card wednesday program for the duration of mutt 22 unfortunately so of course we'll get new solos we'll get five new rising stars i really hope that we see one of them the main you know the boss rising star be a 99 overall and then the other four be 98 overalls we saw 98 veteran and 497s but you know they can give us a 99 and 498s with the rising star so you're gonna have your wild card wednesday solos if you're up to date you're gonna be able to get yourself another free and the final free wild card wednesday fantasy pack to pick any one of the veterans from last week heavyweights the week before that flashbacks the week before that and the rising stars that come out on wednesday also on Wednesday, a big day for fan appreciation content because we'll be getting more solos and those solos are going to equal the week three tokens, which are going to allow you to upgrade your free 99 overall Ed to Tall Jones and Tom Brady. Now, if you've not been playing through these solos, they have not expired, so you can go through and play them right now. But the reason you want to play them is because you got these two 94s, and some of you might have them at 96 or even 98 right now. But you got these free Tom Brady and Ed Two Tall Jones cards, and as you play through the solo challenges, every 60 stars you're going to earn a token. You get two for week one, two for week two, two for week three, which is going to be this Wednesday. And if you go over to the upgrade path and put the week one token, then the week two, and finally the week three token, you can bump these cards all the way up to a 99 overall. They're both free. You don't have to choose between one or the other. You're basically getting a free end game quarterback and a free end game cornerback with the Brady and the Ed Two Tall Jones. Down below in the comments section, as a pinned comment, we will link you guys to the video where I kind of focused on this whole process in a little more detail. If you're a little confused or just picked up the game or maybe just picked it up after a long hiatus you get two free 99 overalls and they will be there on wednesday for you to earn again if you're behind on the solos go play them right now they don't expire at least they haven't yet so you can go back and play them let's go back to the content schedule thursday probably no content because golden tickets is the next item on the list and we know that those have been dropping on friday i'm not quite sure which five golden tickets to expect i know there's still four eagles golden tickets coming out and rasul douglas halfback mike vick we got a wide receiver nick Foles, and a fullback refrigerator perry so hopefully as an eagle fan here we see one or two of them come out on friday and of course the best place for those golden tickets is going to be opening up the training variety pack i don't think that the odds changed on them too much from the first week to the second week they were still pretty good if you want to gear up for some training here are the cheapest training rates right now uh, for training and for the training variety pack we're looking at 1.73 coins for training point that's 91s at 12.1k 93s at 22 and a half thousand coins 1.73 as well and the 97s at 95.5 is going to be 1.84 coins for training point one thing that i didn't mention with the fan appreciation content we're getting the new solos that are going to allow you to upgrade your players your free cards up to a 99 overall but the pack should refresh as well. The coin packs are 75k. The bundles for twenty dollars. And I'm gonna going to I'm going to advise you to hold on to those packs and not open them up until Friday or even Saturday when Ultimate Legends come out. Uh, but if you are impatient, you know it, that's on you. If you want to do it, it is what it is. The good thing about the impatient people is they're gonna help the smarter people out there because training is going to probably take a dip again on Wednesday. One fan appreciation packs reset and people are opening them and we're seeing a lot of 90 plus overall cards basically be entered back into the game and then the undercuts start happening on the auction house. So if you are planning on or intend on opening up a reroll packs, training variety packs, 
This is the cheapest rate for training currently, but I would predict Wednesday we'll see it dip down to probably like one and a half points per training point, and then it might go back up on Friday. It really depends on who those uh, golden tickets are and how good they are as far as the attributes go. And then back to the content schedule to end it out. We got Friday with the golden tickets. Saturday, of course, Ultimate Legends. I know that June 18th is going to mark the next free Ultimate Legend that you can earn, so I would expect ULs to probably go into the end of June, but I would not be surprised that early July they come to an end. So we might only have like a good month, a month and a week left of Ultimate Legend, and of course when they drop on Saturday, we'll have two set cards that are going to be 99 overalls and one LTD that will also be a 99 overall, but not only that, it will be in that training variety reroll pack, and that's why I said, guys, the best time to open your fan appreciation packs is going to be Saturdays because you got the five new golden tickets still in packs with boosted odds for 48 hours which starts on Friday so Saturday afternoon they'll still be boosted and you got that one LTD UL still in packs at that point as well so it's good for fan appreciation packs probably the best day to do your re-rolls Friday is a good day for the re-rolls as well with the new golden tickets being inserted and that's it that's the rest of the content uh, or all of the content for this week. Of course, you can still be out there grinding your Season 4, your free rewards there, level 30, level 50. You get a 98 and 99 overall card. You're going after grinding up those uh, Season 4 champions and all of the free packs and all of the other free content that you get along with leveling up in the game. So you can be doing that right now. Don't forget House Rules is still live right now. 25 wins gives you a free 97 overall player. If you guys want to see all of the best free content, that you can be earning in the game right now down below in the comment section we will link you over to that video that we do each and every sunday breaking down all of the best free content to earn as far as upcoming promos i don't really know what to expect and i'll be honest i'm not really optimistic that we're getting a ton more of course rookie premiere is going to happen i'm hoping summer blockbuster will be a thing and after that i don't know maybe all rookie team we've seen that promo in the past Maybe with Wildcard Wednesday being gone, they will bring back the Power Up Expansion Program, which isn't necessarily giving players new cards, but rounding out a bunch of Power Ups up to 99 overalls with training. Maybe that's something that replaces Wildcard Wednesday. But, you know, we're, we're nearing the end here. Hopefully, Mutt 23 and Madden 23 information starts to come out very, very soon. Maybe we get a release date soon cover reveal all of that good stuff thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video my name is popular stranger i'm out peace